45 years ago, a group of people were sitting around a kitchen table in Clifton Park, and they met because they were concerned about some of the issues that were going on with teenagers at the time, and they decided to do something about it. And they formed CAPTAIN, which is Community Action for Parents, Teens, and Interested Neighbors. So from that point, that very grassroots idea that we have a concern in our community and we don't need to look anywhere else, we just need to do something about it ourselves, Captain has grown and become Captain Community Human Services with a variety of services to meet the needs of the community, not just teenagers now, services for families, services for senior citizens, and we strive to put empowerment programs in the community so that people can become more self-sufficient. It's really a beautiful thing, and it is who Captain is. We really are different from other agencies because we believe in the dignity of everybody who comes to this door and their autonomy. And my role is to help them become the best person that they can be. We strengthen our community, we really do. Doing the best was always something I wanted as a young child. I grew up in rural West Virginia, in the mountains. There was times where we didn't even have water at our house. So I knew I always wanted to be better and better. And things just kept getting in my way. And you know, I'm just gonna try my hardest. <laughs> I came to be involved with Captain through my school counselor who was helping me at the time when my parents left me and I was evicted from my house. Captain really helped me get on my feet again and Mrs. Sini, my school counselor, helped me get connected to Becca who helped me get into Entrada. Entrada is a apartment complex that helps low-income families and there also is a program within Entrada called Captain Chai who helps youth who are homeless and run away, also kids who just need help, and they came to help me, which I'm very thankful for. They were able to help me by giving me a peaceful home where there was no violence and no insanity and a place where I could really free my mind away from everything that was going on throughout my family. I was so young that it was really hard for me to find a role model, so I had to make myself my own role model. And this, living alone, being away from all different kinds of problems, really, made me like myself more and be more powerful as a person. I want others to know that Captain will always be there for you if you need it in any circumstance. They will be there to help you with things that you may need and food, and housing, and clothes. And it's just a really great organization. I'm very happy that I got involved with Captain in the SHI program. I'm a mom. I have a son and a daughter. And I'm also a grandee. I was in a very serious car accident. And as a result, I can't drive anymore and I can't work anymore. So all of a sudden, my life that I knew and I really loved that life was gone. I would sit on my couch, the TV would roll. That was about it. I was very depressed and extremely angry, very angry. And I happened to read, a, it was a small write-up about Care Links in the newspaper. And I thought, well, I, I've got to do something. So I gave a call, and that's how I originally became involved. Tara Madalone, the program manager, she matches the care receivers, which that's what I am with the caregiver, that's the volunteer. So she makes sure that it's a good fit. And 
What the volunteer will do, they'll bring us to the market. If we can't go to the market, they'll do the shopping. They'll bring us to the doctor appointments. They'll call and check a couple times a week. And sometimes we go out to lunch or just coffee. There's a lot of laughing going on. And I think that's just the best. It's the best. Carolings, in a lot of ways, and I don't mean to be dramatic, but they really did save my life. They really did change my life. There's a lot of people sitting on their couches and they don't really have any idea where to go, what to do. So maybe this could help them in a little bit of a way. I've traveled a lot, I've done a lot of things, but this is even better than some of the things I thought were so great that I did in my former life. I'm really loving all of this, every minute of it. And I think that's a lot of what life should be about. And it's a lot of fun, I've got to say. My name is Jade Monk and I became involved with Captains when I was young. I was 19, I was struggling. I had two daughters at the time and we had lost our home and everything in our home, we lost everything. So I was pretty hopeless and I didn't know being young and not having much of an outside support like with family, I didn't really know which way to go. Um, I ended up just going on Google to be honest and looking up anything that could help and Captains was the first thing that popped up and I gave them a call and literally the next day they showed up at my house and they were there to help with anything that I needed. They got me out of that apartment and I was able to stay in a hotel which was actually safer than my apartment. With the help of captains I was able to get into the shelter and then for being in the shelter they were able to help me find an apartment. They helped with paying for the first month's rent security which I didn't have. My daughter's birthday was right around that time when we were really struggling and they were able to provide birthday gifts which I couldn't which was an amazing blessing from captain. They've helped in every way I could think of. They're more of like a family, to me anyway. Since I've been involved with Captains, my life is definitely different for the better. I've learned to be more self-sufficient. I've learned that it's okay to get help, it's okay to ask for help, and that the support is there when it's really needed. So it's been a comfort, definitely, knowing that I have that if I need it. I am very grateful that I was involved with the Street Outreach Program, very grateful. It changed my life for the better and my children. So lots of blessings from captains. <laughs> I just love the mission of captain and the way that we can respond to the needs in our community quickly. I love the fact that this organization is constantly seeking to grow to the next level and the next need that the community presents to us. And if there's a way that we can help people or a way we can design a new program to help people become more self-sufficient, we will do that. When I tell people that we have over 30 programs that touch people's lives from the time they need tutoring out at Cheryl's Lodge to when they need food and emergency assistance and they need our family development program to change their lives and they're seniors and they need help getting to appointments so they can age in home. People are stunned at the range of things that we do. And when we start talking about it, I think they're equally impressed with the depth that we have, the level of commitment and of time and of energy that is put into the people we serve. There's no place that's better. I'm proud to be part of this family.